everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video which is going to be a makeup tutorial of this half cut crease which i absolutely am obsessed with this look is quite dramatic but honestly it's so easy to create so i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next video <music> and moisturize my face and as always we're going to start with eyebrows and I'm using the by Caitlin collection brow gel brows are done and now for the base of the eyeshadow I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 03 and I'm just taking this flat brush from P. Louise and it is the number E2 and we're just going to carve out the brows and put this all over the lid for the base for our eyeshadow. For this creases I'm just going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 003 Peach Glow and a little fluffy brush which is F16 from P. Louise just to set this so that we don't get any creases. makeup wipe and taking off the brow gel on the top of our eyebrows so that then when we put foundation on it's not going to go all weird. This is something that I learn in my makeup training and it definitely definitely makes such a difference. Okay so now we can move on to eyeshadow and basically I know I've used this palette before I'm using the P. Louise Bridal Series Wedding Wish XL palette but I feel like I didn't have a proper play with it so I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and we are going to be doing a half cut crease today. First we're going to start with a transition shade and I think I'm going to go in with the shade Endearment and just pop this all over my crease and I'm going in with the brush F17 from P. Louise. slightly darker brown but it's a very cool shade like a cool toned brown and it's called hubby and I'm just going to take this slightly lower down so still in the crease but slightly lower down than the transition shade Now I'm going to go in with a slightly purpley shade. I was just going to do a dark brown, however this palette just has some really beautiful purpley shades. So I'm going to go in with the shade Bound To You and I'm just going to pop this on the outer corners and bring it slightly in a little bit. But we're basically going to stick to this outer portion here. Pressing that on first and then we're going to do really small back and forwards motions to blend that out. Deep in 
this up even more right on the outer portion I'm going to go in with the shade Marry Me which is a really dark purple and I'm just going to kind of stick this right on the edge here and blend this out. Okay, so I love how these shadows are looking, but I feel like we've really lost the brown. So I am just going to go in with a little brush and I'm going to go in with the shade, hmm. I think I'm going to go in back, back in with the shade Hubby and I'm going to take this and just try and add the brown back in. crease and we're gonna use the P. Louise bases but I don't have the perfect like skin color so I'm gonna take this one which is the P. Louise paint in the shade switch it up and I'm gonna mix it with the white P. Louise paint I'm basically gonna pop it on the lid press it and then pull it down like and we're going over like this because it's a half cut crease we're not going all the way across and then we're just gonna fill it in basically To make sure your cut crease isn't too low, what you want to do is look all the way up and see if you went too low. And yes, I did. I now need to take this higher. And then what we're going to do before we set this is take a little fluffy brush. So I'm taking this brush, which is... E9 and um, with no product on we're basically just going to push this eyeshadow into the concealer so like in really small motions we're just going to start to slowly blend these two together So I'm going to go in with love first and then I'm going to go in with intimacy over the top and I think that's going to create a really nice colour. back in with that little brush that we used and I'm just going to blend this glitter in. Okay so now what we're going to do is take a clean makeup wipe and just clean up this edge and we're going to make it really really sharp so I'm literally taking this on the end of another makeup brush and we're just going to sharpen up this line here. We're just going to add some black eyeliner in the lash line so that the lashes blend. I don't normally use this eyeliner but I am going in with the Supercat Skinny liner because we're basically going to put this in the front. If I was just doing a wing on the outside I would be using a water based eyeliner. However I feel like I need a little bit more of something that's not going to move as much when I'm applying it. So I am just going to put this all along here. I'm not going to do a wing, I'm literally just putting it along the lash line. Now it is time for lashes and Basically, hear me out. So I have been sent these flipped lash lashes and I'm not gonna lie to you, they basically approached me and says, can I send you these lashes? Like will you be an ambassador basically? And people that then purchase the lashes with my discount code, I get some like affiliate link from it. 
they are so expensive so expensive and i don't know if i've just been living under a rock and they're a really popular lash brand but i've never heard of them before and they are so so expensive so i am going to wear these today because i have been sent three pairs and they came with some lash glue and the tool to put them on however i'm not going to promote these to you guys because they're so expensive i don't know if any lash brand would be worth that price so yeah i will leave the link in the description if you do want to check them out it is an affiliate link with my discount code i think you get 20 percent off however like they're so expensive but i am grateful for this tool and some lash glue so i am going to try them but this is not me recommending them to you this is me sharing them with you the lashes do look beautiful like they really really look beautiful i just i just don't think i can i can like justify the price so i'm just gonna measure these up to my lashes wow they are very long oh my god they're very long i'm gonna need to cut a lot off of these okay i'm not gonna lie like i don't want to promote these to you but that was so easy like that stuck instantly and like can you see how they've just blended in so well like i don't think i've actually ever had a lash that's blended in to the front of my lashes that well. Honestly, I actually do really, really, really like these. I'm sorry, I didn't wanna like them, but I really do. Moving on, I'm gonna put some mascara on and I'm going in with my usual L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll and I'm just gonna put this on my eyelashes as much as I can. I'm not gonna like do a full coat of the lashes. I'm just gonna put it literally on the very bottom just to blend them in you can put mascara on before or after your lashes i do think putting mascara on after gives them more of a fluttery natural lash and if you want more of a thicker darker lash i would recommend putting your mascara on your lashes first but anyway let's move on to base so i'm going in with foundation and i'm using my usual number seven stay perfect foundation in the shade porcelain and I am running out of this bottle, so excuse the fact that I am just gonna be taking it from the bottle. To blend this in, if I'm in a rush, I will use a brush, but I'm going in with my beauty blender today because we have time. So outdated, how can we look the other way? Sun is out, but the sky is gray. What would happen if I took a chance? It's always hard at first glance. I don't wanna, but I know I gotta do it. The truth is hard to swallow, I think I'll chew it. once that is all blended out it's time for concealer and i'm going in with my maybelline fit me concealer again in the shade 03 and i'm just taking this under the eyes once i've got like all of the product off i'm then going to take the brush and slowly put it underneath that eyeshadow line like so and i'm just taking a little bit my chin on my nose and a little bit on my forehead. I wish I knew. this out even more I'm going in with my beauty blender okay and now to set underneath the eyes we are going in with my favorite favorite powder which is the Huda Beauty powder in the shade pound cake and I'm going in with my trigger well cosmetics powder puff Now 
we are looking very ghostly, it is time for bronzer and I'm going in with the same bronzer as usual, which is the NYX bronzer in the shade Media. Yeah, I'm coming back to life. going to go in with a little bit of hula bronzer just to deepen up my contour on my cheeks and I'm going to put this on my nose. Okay now it's time to cut the contour so I'm taking my powder puff again and the same powder and I'm going to cut underneath my contour and along the sides of my nose. I'm then taking a big fluffy brush and we're just dusting away all of that excess powder. Time to finish off underneath the eyes. We're going to go in with the little brush that we used for the dark purple, which was this little one. And first, we're going to go in with the dark shade and then we're going to blend it out into the lighter brown. So, I'm first going in with the shade Marry Me, very, very small amount. And we're going to get this as close to the lash line as we can. I'm going to bring you in a little bit actually. And we're going to keep this on the outer corner. So Try and get as close as you can to the lash line in tiny little forwards and backwards motions. Like so, and keep doing that until you have it as dark as you want it. Once that is underneath the eyes, I'm going in with the fluffy brown that we used. Yeah, this was the fluffy brown. And we're going in with the shade Hubby. It is my favourite, favourite time and it's time for highlight and I'm going in with the Benefit High Beam Highlighter, which is a liquid highlighter. Actually, no, 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 we need to do mascara on the bottom lashes. Putting some mascara on the bottom lashes first, but I am just going to put them on the outer lashes, I'm not going to bring it all the way in. Right, now it's time for highlighter and I'm taking the Benefit High Beam and I'm popping three dots on my cheeks and just blending this out with my finger. Okay, now I don't actually have a blush, but this is not going to defeat us. I hate blush basically but i'm recently getting into it i'm getting into it so i'm just going to take this brush from p louise which is the shade why do i always say the shade which is f10 and i'm going to go in with the shade bond and i choose you and i'm going to gently try and add some blush which i'm a bit scared for okay that's adding a little summit summit i'm going to go in with a little bit more See, you don't need blush, just use eyeshadow. Doing it whilst that liquid highlighter is also wet is a really good technique to get any then powder that you put in on top to pop. Um, so just a little tip for you there if your blush isn't very pigmented. Now what we're gonna do is go in with highlighter and I'm going in with my Technique Get Gorgeous in the shade. We've had this problem before, I don't know what shade it's in. But it's the pink one and she's stunning. I honestly, this highlighter is just everything. I'm also now just gonna take this on a little flat brush on my inner corners and on my brow bone. So just on the bridge here, 
on the end and on my cupid's bow. If for lips we're going to keep it simple because the eyes are very dramatic so we're going to keep it nude and matte so I'm going in with my MAC lip liner. This is in the shade Boldly Bare. And I'm then going in with the lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Staunch? Staunch? I don't really know. Now, if I had a setting spray, I would be using a setting spray right now, but I don't. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm really, really impressed with this look. So please show this video some love. If you liked it, go and follow my makeup page, which I will link down below. I will also link the lashes down below if you want to check them out. And thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.